More than three years since the Division of Highway started working to completely renovate McCorkle Avenue in Kanawha City. And as Luke Hamilton reports, city council members are working on a way to assist businesses suffering from this longtime construction. Charleston City Council members discussing their frustrations with the construction project on McCorkle Avenue. This is going to go on into the fourth year for eight blocks. It's a stress reaction. You know, being able to pay your employees and having people pay for donuts are directly correlated. Teresa Ortiz was just 19 years old when she became the owner of Donut Connection in Kanawha City. She says starting out hasn't been easy with road work right in front of her business. People avoid McCorkle specifically, so they'll find any other way to get to work. And a lot of, I get a lot of business from the on to way to work crowd. Uh, I want a snack, I want some coffee. Let me just stop by a donut connection real quick. But if it's not real quick, it's hard to come in. Council member Chad Robinson says he's working with the mayor's office to help businesses bounce back. In the very near future, we'll have some announcements uh, that will have a great impact for our businesses in, in Kanawha City. Uh, we hope to begin a new business association. A lot of our events bring business to like the downtown area. We have a couple on the west side, but anything that would bring business specifically to Kanawha City would be incredible. Councilman Frank Annie told his fellow council about his incident involving the road work. I am driving my wife's car this evening because I'm out one shock on my right tire. He says he could handle the problem, but residents still need support. I could only imagine if you're a retiree, someone on a fixed income, and then you have a $700 issue on your vehicle, you're going to a doctor's appointment or something of that nature. I mean, it just compounds an already bad situation. The DOH says they have informed businesses of any impacts in advance, and the project should be complete by spring of next year. Luke Hamilton, WSAZ, Kanawha County. And business owners and city council have questions with the delays with the project. We've reached out to the Department of Highways. They told us a 20-inch water line along 37th Street needs to be relocated to finish the new drainage system, which has slowed down that process. They say when the project is finished, there will be a smooth driving service, improved drainage, and sidewalks.